we got a banger for you today. You think you can make your own body armor? We're about to find out. Send it. What we don't do to bring you guys videos. Yeah. All right, guys, welcome back to another one. Sorry about the wind, I'll go this way here. Nate and I are out at the farm. We wondered if you can make your own body armor. We got some plate steel, quarter inch thick. I've got it cut. Well, here, I'll show you. What we're gonna be shooting today. This is uh, 10 inches by 16, quarter of an inch thick. Now, that small piece right there took three cutting wheels and burned out a brand new grinder trying to get that piece cut. I don't know what kind of steel it is. I don't know the temper of the steel. I don't know anything about it. But I got two pieces here today and a variety of pews. And uh, we're gonna see what it'll stop. So Nate's gonna start off first. We're gonna start off with a 22. <laughs> if 22 goes through this, it'll be a quick video. It'll be over. I don't think it's going to though. But we're gonna get set up here. Nate's gonna start off with a 22 and then we'll get bigger from there. All right, so Nate's got the 22. He's gonna fire three rounds down there at our steel plate and hope it don't go through. Yeah. All right, now let's go have a look and see what it did. Like I said, if it went through, then this is a quick video. It'd be video over, but I don't think it did. Looks like uh, we got one miss one hit one hit did not even dimple it all right so of course we got a little bigger we're going to step it up to a 223 and see what that does and again if it goes through we'll put the second plate behind it and see if that'll stop it all right so change of plans tyler's now joined us he's got my mosberg we're going to use a nine pellet double lot buck then we'll go to the slug. If it does go through, we're gonna put the other plate behind it and see if that'll stop it. All right, go. All right, let's go up and see what the double lot did to it. Where was the 22? All right, this 22 here. This is the double lot. Only two of the nine hit it. But it looks like it did not even dent it. Barely even scarred the surface. Yes, we have bigger. All right, guys, time for a safety tip. So the only slug round that I brought, I didn't look at it first, looks like this. Do not shoot that round. Unless you want some other excitement that uh, I'm pretty sure nobody wants. So we're gonna step up now. Ty's got his 223 here. And we're gonna shoot it from back here at 100 yards. When you're shooting rifles at steel, it's best to keep your distance. You do not want to shoot it up close. I found out the hard way one day, didn't I? Not a good thing. Ty's got his 223. We're at 100 yards. Let's see what happens. Tell me when. Anytime. Send it. All right, that's the 223. Let's go see what we got here. Oh, he got one out of three. Again, there's the 22, the double lot. There's the 223, straight on through. Yep, that'll leave a mark. Okay, so, world's full of 22s and double up buck, you're okay. If the world's full of 223s, you're not. So what we're gonna do, we'll take this other piece of steel here. Let me get this situated. Now we got two. So that's a half an inch of metal. We'll shoot it again with the 223 and see if that stops it. All right, so as you saw, we doubled up the plates. Ty's gonna shoot 223 at it again, see what happens. Okay, walking up to see where the 223 hit. Okay, so out of the three, hit it twice. We got one here, one here. Now that didn't go through that plate. We got, a, we got a bulge right here and a bulge right here. So this plate didn't stop it. This one did. It did dimple the second plate. Well, 
we got bigger. All right, we now move up to the SKS, which shoots a 7.62 by 39. And uh, Nate's gonna put five at it. Hopefully he hits it. Send it. All right, ties up with his SKS. So we had a total of 10 rounds fired at this, double plate, about a half inch thick. Let's see how we did. All right, so. Wow. Whole lot of dimples on the back. But the SKS didn't go through because it stacked up. Okay, so far, we don't have anything that'll go through two plates. We got anything bigger? Oh yes, we do. Starting with, we start with the 22, went to the 223, the 762, and now we're going to the 762 by 54. That's the biggest one we got. And we're going to put this 762 by 54 in our Mosin. We're going to see what happens there. <laughs> Knocked it down. So one plate fell. We're just going to shoot the next two rounds at the single plate. And All right, let's go see how the Mosin did. Pretty sure I could hear it hitting the backstop. Okay, so if you're being shot at with a 762 by 54, you're pretty much out of luck. Right through, right there, right there. But that one didn't go through the second plate. However, if you got two plates, major dimple there and one there. That is certainly going to hurt. Well, it's obviously the next day. We we're in out of the cold, out of the mud. It was colder than it looked. Unless it looked cold, then it was cold. We're in the shop right now. We're going to have a look at these plates and see what happened. All right, so these two right here are going to be SKS rounds, as is this one up here. The, this one and this one here are going to be the 762 by 54 out of the Mosin. That's the big round. Those were shot when the plates were doubled up. So look at the markings here. We've got one here and one here. One here and one here. It'll go through one quarter inch plate, but it wouldn't go through two. Although that would leave a mark. And we did switch them around a little bit. Some of the SKS rounds were just dimpled here because some of the plates got switched. Before the Mosin, it's this one, this one, matching this and this. So let's look at the backside. Look at the dimples here. Right there and right there. This one here is almost split through. That is going to break some ribs. So like I said before, I don't know whether this steel is hardened steel, ordinary steel, what it is. I just know it's heavy for the size that I cut. What did we learn here? Can you make your own armor? Yeah, you can. Is it advisable? Probably not. Will it work if it's all you got? Yeah, as long as everybody's running around with a 22 or double a buck. I would not want to get hit with that with an SKS and or the Mosin. Uh, it may not go in you, but it's going to leave some serious problems in its wake. So it's probably best to just buy it. Nate and I had talked about that for a while, whether it is possible to make your own armor. I'm not saying it's not, but you got to trust it. Anyway, that's all I got for today's video. Hope you all enjoyed it. Hope you all got something out of that. And as always, get outside and enjoy the outdoors. Later. Well, I am going to go out on a limb and say that most of it goes through you like Taco Bell Tuesday at midnight. Mm-hmm. See my flinch thing?